For six years, from her launch in April 2013, the super yacht Azam stood as the world's largest private yacht. At 180 meters overall, Azam was eclipsed only in 2019 when the research and expedition vessel REV Ocean was unveiled and then by only 3 meters. To Azam's owner and exterior designer, Nauta Design, size was never the ultimate goal. Instead, the objective was to create a sleek vessel with elegant, timeless lines. Originally, the super yacht was designed to be 145 meters, but in the process of optimization, it grew. And to this day, Mario Pedal, founder of Nauta Design, takes it as a great compliment when admirers say that the yacht looks smaller than her size. The yacht accommodates a large, open-plan main salon, accommodation for 36 guests and up to 80 crew, complex dual-mode engine systems, and the fuel required despite having a comparatively shallow draught of just 4.3 meters. The challenging design and engineering accounted for around a third of the four-year construction schedule while arriving at the long, lean shape was in itself a challenge, needing detailed finite element analysis to give the required longitudinal strength. The interior style remained a closely guarded secret, but heritage was of prime importance. French designer Christophe Leone, who had previously worked on some of the owner's residences and palaces, bought similar styles on board, including a wealth of wood furniture, intricately veneered with mother-of-pearl marquetry. Previously, Nada's largest project had been 80-meter project light, a modern yet graceful motor yacht that drew on sailing yacht aesthetics and blended the boundaries between outdoor and indoor living. Azam was to be different in style and intent, but Nada was bought in to shape how the vessel would look. It was a challenging brief, said Pedal. The ship, and actually it is a ship, was due to reach 30 plus knots. So one of the fundamental characteristics was the speed. Quite unusual for the size, and I wanted to give a sense of that speed even in the design. Fortunately enough, the requirement of interior volume was not excessive for this length. So it did allow us to design a balanced and elegant yacht with good proportions. I've had many comments that from some distance, you can't tell she is a 180 meter yacht. 10 facts about the super yacht Azam. Number one, Azam was never conceived as the world's largest super yacht. The design was to be high speed and accommodate a certain interior plan and number of guests but it was originally envisaged as 145 meters overall. As the need to optimize the structure and create space for complex engine systems, fuel and tenders developed together with an elegant exterior sporting a long sweeping bow and swept back stern, the design grew by another 35 meters to become a record breaker. Number two, it took more than 4,000 people to build. Rightly thought of as a giga yacht, Azam took four years to build at German shipyard Lursen, and it's said to have cost more than 500 million US dollars. Some 4,000 people were involved in the building over four years, clocking up 6 million man hours before her launch in April 2013. The builders calculated that had the yacht had to be built by one person, work would have had to have started in 1737 BC. Number three, Azam is one of the world's fastest super yachts. The brief for Azam was for a vessel that could travel as fast as possible to the owner's private island off the coast of Abu Dhabi, and she can cover the journey in a matter of hours at her top speed of 33 knots. Number 4. Azam is as fast as a Navy frigate and uses similar technology. Top speed is produced by two gas turbine engines and two XMTU diesel engines driving two Wartzilla axial flow modular water jets and two boosters. Altogether, they produce 97,000 HP and consume 13 tons of fuel per hour at top speed. Before we move on to fact number 5, make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the most luxurious of lifestyles from around the world. Number 5. There's a long-range mode as well as a sprint mode. Azam also has two conventional diesel engines for longer distance voyaging and extended range. Two 9,000 kW MTU engines produce a speed of 18 knots over long distances. She could comfortably cross the Atlantic without refueling. Number six, you can practice golf on board. Guests can stay fit by using the onboard gym, pool, or practicing their swing in a special golf training room. Number seven, over 100 people can live aboard. Azam accommodates up to 36 guests in supreme comfort, and to look after them, there is a crew of between 70 and 80 people. Number eight, there is a huge open plan main saloon. The large open plan main saloon measures 29 meters long by 18 meters with no pillars to obstruct the views inside. 
and it is flanked by full-height windows for an expansive view outside, adding that the beams on the ceiling had to be one meter in width. Making sure the huge windows were fully stormproof meant the glass had to be specially engineered in Italy and it is over 7 centimeters thick. Number 9. The interior boasts a wealth of mother of pearl. The furniture on board features intricate marquetry in mother of pearl. Such a wealth that is equating to a year's worth of worldwide production. Number 10. The chandelier doesn't rattle. A huge amount of work was put into ensuring the noise and vibration levels of Azam were very low, even at full speed. Designers and engineers had to ensure the chandelier in the main salon didn't tinkle underway. It was difficult to know in advance how this would behave, but it was tested in every possible way with sophisticated software and set up challenging targets, and it was not a problem, says Mario Pedal. That was all from us today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and also do subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.